Stay away from people who act like a victim in a problem that they created. There are people like that in the world, or some of you obviously know some of them. But they act like a victim in a problem that they created. That's gaslighting. There are people that do that. My antidote to that is this. Spend more time with people with whom you have a common future instead of a common past. Spend more time. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying that you, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not saying to cut people off. This is about prioritizing where you, you give a larger percentage of your time. We love people that have been a part of our history that have helped us to grow to who we are and where we are. We thank those people. Thank the teachers in your life. Thank the people that have poured into you. Thank the people that have helped you to become who you are. I'm not saying that you forget them but spend more time with people with whom you have a common future as opposed to a common past. So just because they were back there with you while y'all were wilding out together and they want to pull you back into that behavior and that mindset and, and, and that, that disillusionment and that kind of fun mentality without understanding that there are uh, corresponding uh, consequences to particular actions that you do. Spend more time with people with whom you have a common future, where you're going, what you're building together, as opposed to a common past. Does that make sense to you? Hey, Pretty Girl Club. So, sorry y'all, I've been so MIA lately. I've been dealing with life. Y'all know I have a mom for a narcissist, right? So, I've been dealing with stuff with that. I basically cut my mom out of my life, so I'm just going through life right now. But I feel so much freer. I feel a whole lot like weight has been lifted off of me ever since I made this decision, and it's a firm decision to officially cut my mom out of my life. If you have to cut your mom off, cut her off. Sometimes your mom is jealous of you. And as much as she does not want to admit it, and she probably never will, you can sense it. Like your intentions with her are so pure. But she always thinks of you in a negative light. Like when it comes to you, it's always something negative that she has to say about you. Never what you intend to be to her, which is a good person. You always twist it to make it like you're this negative person. Or she's always complaining. She doesn't want you to have fun if she is not having fun. It's like your competition to her. It's like she can't process the fact that she's getting older and you are growing into a woman. And you probably have more confidence than she did at that age. You want to make her proud and you never can. Nothing you ever do is good enough for her. This will stunt your growth. This will stunt your confidence. This will make you think less of yourself because your mom, the person that birthed you, thinks less of you. Cut her off. So if there is anybody in your life that you feel like is just training you, energy vampires, they don't want to see you happy, they never, they're always looking for something wrong, they're always looking for a problem, cut those people out of your life. Those people do not mean you well. Get rid of toxic family members. Blood is not always thicker than water at all. Sometimes you, you can't help the family you were born in. And so the, if you don't you don't have to be around people who are just draining you, and especially when you're doing good and those people come around and then things just get chaotic all of a sudden, those people have a, a, a negative aura around them and they're just going to carry on to you. Misery loves company. People, people who are miserable want other people to be miserable. And it, whether they do it on purpose or not, they are literally spilling their misery onto other people when they are around. And my mom is definitely one of those people that is no longer, she is no longer allowed in my life. I don't, I'm, I'm not even, can't nobody convince me I'm not making the right decision. I've made my decision. And so it was, it's, it wasn't as hard as, it's honestly a relief that I've let go of that 
negative person out of my life who's been the main cause of my pain. And I'm just done with pain in my life. I want to live happy. She is so miserable. It's ridiculous. People are... Misery loves company. That's all I'm going to say. But that's where I've been, y'all. Just dealing with life and everything like that. Trying to... And I've been... You know, I work at a job where... Right now we're going through, like, like prime week and everything. So it's just a lot of extra hours I'm working. And then just dealing with life in general. But I just wanted to catch up with my girlies on a little quick video. And just to encourage everyone out there that if you have somebody in your life that you need to get rid of, get rid of them. Don't start to feel bad about, how oh, maybe I should give them another chance. Don't. That people show you, when somebody shows you who they are, you believe them. I think Maya Angelou said that. When people show you who they are, believe them. Yes, absolutely. A person says to you, I'm selfish, or I'm mean, or I am unkind, or I'm crazy, or I'm cra Believe them. They know themselves much better than you do. Mm -hmm. But no, more often than not, those of us who don't trust life say, don't say a thing like that. Mm -hmm. You're not really crazy. You're not really unkind. You're not really mean. <laughs> and as soon as you say that, the person pow, let you know and shows you. I told you. Mm -hmm. I told you I was unkind. When somebody shows you who they are, believe them. Don't keep giving people who keep taking advantage of you chances because they're going to keep taking advantage because they see you're soft or nice or whatever and they just take advantage of it. I'm just so I'm done with people taking advantage of me in general. It's just not cool. Like I done I've done so much for people and I don't I just don't deserve some, the the treatment that I've gotten. Not only do I have to deal with basic Betty's at work, but I also have to deal with a narcissist for a mom and y'all it's a whole nother story with the relationship thing. It's kinda like back and forth. So I'm just kind of like, y'all are really all I got. And I hate that I haven't been making videos lately. It's just I've been so drained of my energy. People just don't want to see me happy like or something. I don't get it. I'm finally in a place in my life where I'm genuinely happy. And I found, basically I found myself on a spiritual level. So it's kind of like. I've basically woken up for those who are spiritual. If you know, you know. I literally had an awakening this year, all of that. So I am in a whole nother place. I am in a whole nother place. Like, for those who are spiritual, y'all know we're entering the 40. And I feel like I'm about to graduate. Let's just put it like that. If you know, you know. That's where I'm at with my health mental health overall like i'm i'm genuinely happy i'm doing something that i enjoy doing and i'm happy like so i'm going to come up with a few new series coming up just to give you so for some quick updates i plan on making a few new series i'm going to make a dark femininity series soon to make another series for my spiritual people out there um i'm spiritual and i believe our spiritual health is very important so i'm going to make a series that series might not be for everybody but for those who it resonates with of course check it out i'm gonna make a whole series on that because i just feel like that's very important um so yeah there's just a few updates going on with me um 
just wanted to make a, a quick video for y'all some encouragement words like don't let people run all over you like don't people don't let people bully you i don't care if they're your family or not like they don't they feel like they deserve respect from you but they don't give you respect i just don't think it's i don't care who you are if you disrespect me for no reason and i didn't do anything to you literally nothing you don't you just don't like me for whatever reason i trigger you like i trigger my own mom you guys like it's one thing to trigger like a basic baddie at work it's another thing to trigger somebody who's supposed to be like there for you like they can't even be there for you because they're so busy being triggered and they haven't chosen to heal themselves and so they want to take it all out on you like, like i've had enough i really have like I'm, I'm learning how to stand up for myself for the first time in my life and like I used to let people run all over me like a doormat or something like I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me but I'm not doing it anymore like people just keep keep taking advantage of me I don't know if this is gonna be in my rant series or just a regular video it's kind of just going off from the dome right now just talking to you guys because it's been a while and yeah I know I like to keep it all the way 100 with y'all that's why I created this platform in the first place to vent and just get all my stuff out and hopefully I'm helping somebody else so it means something. It's not just me just complaining. It's, you know, I'm helping somebody. I'm giving advice on what I'm doing to help myself get better. And the best way I can say is just get rid of those toxic people. Don't think about it. Don't be like, oh, uh, don't start to feel bad. Don't let them... Don't let them gaslight you or manipulate you into feeling bad for them. Cut those people out. I know I'm speaking to somebody else. Toxic people do not belong in our in our lives. Like, especially when we're trying to level up. When people see you loving, leveling up and they're not leveled up, they're going to try to sabotage you in some way, whether that's, you know, through intention. You know, they just gotta look out for people people can well you know as pretty girls we kind of already know who we trigger because they kind of can't really hide it it shows either in their face or their actions because there's something about us it's we trigger people's emotions you know whether that's in a good way or a bad way and that's something i've always noticed people just either you can tell you know can tell somebody likes you you can tell when somebody doesn't like you. You can tell when somebody's in like with you. <laughs> I mean, people's emotions really do come out with pretty women. Like, this is a safe space for us pretty girls to just talk and not feel like we're being stuck up for talking about these things because this is why our space exists. So we can have this freedom to just talk about these things without people being like oh you're stuck up because i ain't never had nobody i could be able to talk about pretty girl problems to except pretty girls we get we get it we know what time it is so i'm just glad we have this space so yeah um what you what have you guys been up to lately let me know in the comments and i'm gonna start a patreon soon i plan on doing things like exclusive videos i might even i'm gonna put my dark feminine series on patreon um i'm gonna start a facebook group for women who have narcissistic mothers and women who deal with body dysmorphia i'm gonna start a facebook group within patreon on those things and um some other cool perks and all of that so i'm getting all that stuff ready you know since youtube doesn't want to monetize me because you know the content that i choose to post and i'm just going to keep doing it because it's fun to me i don't care if i'm getting paid but i do want to make some type of exotical tax off of making content so i'm going to start a patreon and i'm just going to post exclusives you know probably you know probably more behind the scenes of what i got going on in my personal life i might even show like just certain things that you wouldn't get on youtube let's just put it like that it'll be fun i'm gonna make it worth you guys as well of course so 
that's all i wanted to say like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for listening